I'm heard. Yeah. This is a cubby bush kid and I'm out today, day two on the little secret permission. Secret place, put finger on side nose. So uh, yeah, we'll get into it and we'll see what we find. Hopefully something good will turn up, but you never know till you put the coil to the soil. And uh, we'll get out there now anyway. Well, the wind is blowy today and it's a bit chilly, but there we go, six inches down. And we got that. And you can tell by the shape that that is a thripney bit. There we go. George the uh, sixth. And <coughs> it's going to be pre-1953. And that looks... Oh. 37. That's a good old one. That's pre war. So there we go. Another three pence. I'll take that. I'll keep going. And of course, just as I've gone to film, the wind has sprung up. I want to show you something. I'll try and hide the mighty bit from the. That. It's not a car, it's a castle. That is in fact. It's a ruin of a castle that uh, was built in the 1760s as a romantic ruin to wander around, which coincides with all the probably the dates of the buttons and the buckles that I'm finding. Now, back to the hole. I got a 14 signal. Actually, we'll zoom back out again. Got a 14 signal. It ended up not being that deep, but this field's been ploughed, so keep that in mind. That there, this is a coin ball, or what I believe to be a coin ball. I have part seen, I am excited. I can hardly be containing my enthusiasm. If I, we see that? Oh yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'm heard. Oh, I'm doing this all one handed. I wonder who I've got. Just, just give me a minute and we'll clean it all up and we'll see what we're dealing with. That is absolutely glorious. Back with you in a tick. Oh, no, 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 no. I see two dots. I see two dots. That's a, that's another, buddy, tuppence or a half groat. It might be a Lizzie. We'll see. Right, we are back. There's the backside of it. Oops, if I get in focus. We can see the last bit of London. It's a shield, so we're not talking long crosses or short crosses. If we do that. <clears throat> I don't know who it is. It could be an Elizabeth. It might be a Mary. It could be an Anne. I don't know. I don't know. But what I do know is you see those two dots behind the head? That is telling us that it is two pence a half groat a tuppence just absolutely amazing that's just absolutely brilliant now that was a 14 signal and it ended up probably only being oh, three inches at the most down probably two you can see it's also got a split. I don't care about that. Um, 
So yeah, digging those low numbers. Imagine me doing that. But the rewards are absolutely brilliant. We'll keep going. Well, I believe I've just had a magnificent find. You know my my funny bucket list? Well, actually we'll do that. My funny bucket list had all sorts of things, and one of them was a thing called a pot mend. And what they used to do was if you got a hole or a crack in your in your cooking pot, they would fix it with, of course, lead. And so you had these lead pieces. Sometimes they, uh, it was like an hourglass, if you like, you know, a big bit on the outside, a big bit on the inside, and a small bit in the center. Well, I believe that this is what they call Roman greyware. And I'll, we'll pick up this bit first. You can see that it's all been smoothed and worked, and there's a little bit of, of um, detail of some description there. You know, that's cool. Now, if we turn that over, that's lead. That is lead in a mend, I believe. And I'm happy to go with that, and that's the piece that, that sits with it and it starts to form a bowl shape. So I believe, not only have I got my, my bit of um, pot mend, I think I've got the bit of pot that it was mended in. That is just absolutely amazing. I'm very, very pleased with that. As some people would say, that'll go back home to the Coffee Bush Kid Museum. And, uh, but yeah, that's, that's amazing. I'm really, really pleased with that. All right, we'll see what else we can find. I've got to nip back home for lunch in 10 minutes, but I'll be back later this afternoon. 26, 27, and we, that's not going, is it? That's, oh, probably a good eight inches down. And we've got that in the hole. That's as far as I've got. So let's take it out together. That is not a button. It needs to be cleaned up and then we'll find out what it is. All right, there we are. There's Britannia on the back and I'll make George the third. We might be able to just see Georgie there. That'll be one of the 1806, seven, eights, buddy, whatever. Please. It's not a bad uh, bust on it, but yeah, that's not too bad. We'll take that and we'll go. I well, hope I've got you out of the wind. Oh. That is an anchor button. There we go. Very old anchor button. And <clears throat> what's interesting is that that's on the back is fabric. Can't sort of pull it out, it's all tufty and matty. But yeah, there you go, anchor all the way. It's pretty cool. And a beautiful 23, 24 signal gives you one of those. The old crusty King Dave, as the boys will say. And nothing we can get off that. It's old, but phew, can't get anything. Well, the sun and the wind are in the wrong bloody spot. But anyway, there's the hole. Here's the target. Don't know what it is. Oh, yes, I do. It's a knob. It's a very heavy, heavy brass slash bronze knob. That's a little ripper, that one. Huh. Anyway, we'll keep going. Well, this is an interesting little piece. It seems to be cast. You can see all the shape in it, but there's some misshapen-y bits. But this end 
looks like it has lead on it. So, well, hey, he loses it. So I'm stuffed if I know what it is, but it certainly has some age to it, I can tell you that. Anyway, we'll see what we can find before the day ends. Well, there's something you don't see that often. Just the tail ends of two rainbows. Looks like they're trying to show you where something is. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty dark forbidding clouds over the top of the, uh, the folly there. Hoping they're not coming my way, but by gee, it nearly looks like they could be. All right, very deep 1819. And that's the end of an old pewter spoon. So we can see there, raindrop. It's already starting. So with that happening, I'm gonna say, keep in mind, always good to fill in some of your day detecting, but remember to fill in all your holes when you're finished. I think we're gonna have to run for it. Here we have an otter. So the focus will be out, but um, where'd he go? He's just along the bank over there. One in the wild. Huh. Amazing. Bye bye little otter. Bye bye. G'day folks, this is the coffee bush kid in the UK still on secret permission, finger on side nose. And down in that hole at nearly eight inches, I had a thumping 2931 signal. And it ended up being this massive piece of bronze. You can see there's a bit of an oval shape i can see two notches on the side you can see it's very oval there's a flange edge there's been turned pieces on it there's a hole in the center i'm going to say that's actually a bush uh probably for grease or oil hence the little uh, hence the little notchy bits there and there so that would have been so that the oil or the grease could get around. You can see there's a straight line there. So there would have been both sides. The shaft has flogged the bush out. Bushes are um, consumable items. And obviously this has come off something. And they've replaced it with a new one and discarded it. But that is one hell of a piece of bronze. I am going to be putting it in the hedgerow here. Because I don't need to take that back to Australia. But still. It's a pretty, pretty neat find. Definitely a signal you couldn't go past. So anyway, we will keep going. Sorry about any wind. Um, 
Yep, shallow target, come in 1920. There we have it. That, let's do it that way. That is a pewter spoon bowl. That won't be coming back to Australia either, but yeah, it's not a bad, not a bad uh, target anyway. Yep, yeah, we'll keep going. Well, it always amazes me what the Knox will find. Look at that. Just a piece of, well, oh, potentially it is just rubbish, but it's interesting rubbish. Yeah, it's got something on it. It's a part of fact of something. Anyway, you never know what's going to come out of the ground. We'll see what the next one is, hey? Well, you can see that. And that was a oh, good 10 inches down. Pinpoint is buried. That's a musket ball. Now, yes, I find musket balls at home. But look at how big that bastard is. That is... That's huge. And you see how white it is? So that's a really, really old one. You know, do we go, ooh, that could have been used in one of the... The Rebellion, Civil Wars, I don't know. We're up here in Yorkshire. It's just impacted something slightly on that flat side. But whether it was just an air shot fire, I don't know. But it is a big old piece of bloody lead that is a musket ball. It's pretty amazing. We'll keep going. Well, I'm trying to keep you out of the wind as best as I can. Ugh. In the bottom of the hole there. Beautiful. It's not a button. But it's also not a good looking coin either. We'll have a little little bit of a brush up and a clean. We'll see what we've got. We have ourselves a toasted flat disc. No distinguishing features. Bit of a shame. So, well, we will just keep going finding something else, I suppose. Well, here I am, last day on the Yorkshire permission. There's the. Um, there's the flock of sheep they put in with me. I've been too busy. I haven't even bothered to look. You know, if half the flock is pretty or ugly. But just down there, I got Mohammed coin. I got my Roman greyware. Multiple, multiple amounts of buddy 1700s buttons. Oh, there's some geese taken off for you. I've had the uh, ship. Where are we? Sorry, ship half penny over there. The shoe buckle, some artifacts down there. Everything. Now. What is on my list? What's on my bucket list? Still to get. I want a Roman fibula. Um, Viv wants a Celtic stator. Uh, full crotal bell. Spindle whirl. Uh, a few other bits and pieces. Well, I've just managed to, buddy, knock one of them off the list. I am absolutely wrapped and you'll think I'm bloody mad. But, down... Oh, if we get this, there we go, pinpointer, full pinpointer depth, uh, it was a 2324 signal, and it was strong, and it's that, and that's lead, note how there's a hole, note how it's round, there should be decoration on that. And I think that may well be my spindle whirl, which is what they used to use. Uh, another name for it's like a drop spindle for doing wool or making yarn with. Um, this could be Roman, this could be medieval. I don't know, but we'll give it a clean up and we'll see if there's any nice detail on it. Alright, there it is. It might be 
maybe light pattern if you use your imagination really hard with lines and so forth. But um, there we go. That's old lead. No way of dating it. But I reckon I can sort of see lines through there. Anyway, I really call that spindle whirl. Another one off the list. I am absolutely chuffed with that. And we will keep going as I've got to swing to my heart's bloody content. Since this, I've only got maybe two hours left on this one. I've got to get as much covered as I can. I'm just going for ground coverage now and signal digs. Anyway, we'll see what else we can find. This is quite, it's quite unbelievable uh, and suits my quirkiness. So, oh no, just around there ish, I got the spindle whirl. And I said some of them were highly decorated, mine was a little bit plain. Well, this is what a highly decorated one looks like. But, by the looks of it, the mold, something went wrong with the mould of it. And it didn't form properly. But I would say that was an aborted spindle wheel. You can see where the hole was supposed to be. And you can see the decorations on the side. I don't believe it to be a lead farm token. I reckon that'll be a spindle wheel that just didn't quite cut the mustard. And of course, to me, that's that's bloody brilliant. That's a museum piece in itself. Well, the CBK Museum. Anyway, we'll take that and we'll keep going. That's bloody brilliant. Love finding stuff like that. Could end up being a lead night. Look at that. You can't tell me that those are indiscriminate bloody symbols yeah it's very thin don't know whether it's i don't know farm token part of a design part of a buddy busted mold for a spindle whirl i don't know but that's deliberate nonetheless and it's old and i'm finding it all in the one sort of area which is really weird but anyway probably don't want to catch get too much lead because you do have to travel home but anyway, we'll keep going. Well, that's it, folks. I'm finished here now. This was my secret permission in Yorkshire. Put finger on side nose. And it gave up some great stuff. Plenty of bucket listers off here. And by gee, the whole thing has a lot more potential in it. I only just briefly skimmed the surface. If anyone got in here and seriously gridded it, man, they could get some stuff out of it. Probably well over 200 buttons, I reckon. But anyway, that's it for here. We're moving on to a new destination. Uh, so, keep in mind, always good to fill in some of your day detecting. Remember to fill in all your holes when you're finished. We'll catch you next time.